We welcomed President Macron when he visited Lebanon, and we welcomed the French initiative, but not for him to be judge, jury, and executioner and ruler of Lebanon. This is how Hezbollah Secretary General Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah responded to French President Emmanuel Macron's patronizing behavior towards the Lebanese people. Hezbollah's leader said last week that the Lebanese resistance welcomed French efforts to help Lebanon out of crisis, but that in no way meant French President Emmanuel Macron could act like the country's ruler. Macron, president of former colonial power France, who has led foreign aid efforts, rebuked Lebanese political leaders for allegedly failing to swiftly agree a new government. It was the first step in the French plan seeking to rally them to launch reforms that would unblock billions of dollars cash Lebanon desperately needs. However, Macron's colonial face glowed last week when the French president declared that he was ashamed of Lebanese politicians and deemed it a betrayal as his initiative faltered. Macron criticized Lebanon's two main Shia parties, Hezbollah and its ally Amal, who demanded to name some ministers, particularly the finance post, accusing them to be at the heart of the logjam. However, the deadlock was a deliberate stunt by the so-called ex-Prime Minister's Club in Lebanon. Sayyid Nasrullah accused former Prime Minister Saad al-Hariri along with other former Prime Ministers of pulling the strings in an attempt to exploit the French intervention to score political points. He blamed them for seeking to sideline Hezbollah and its allies, which hold a majority in Parliament. So in clear, the U.S. puppets in Lebanon are seeking to eliminate the parliamentary blocs and the president's power. The dangerous part in the ex-Prime Minister's Club game is seeking to introduce new norms to the Lebanese system of governance that Sayyid Nasrullah deemed a threat to the country and was not even a subject of discussion. Sayyid Nasrullah reiterated what Hezbollah has always been very blunt about. The only reason for Hezbollah's presence in the government was always to protect the back of the resistance. However, last week, Hezbollah announced a new reason that will for sure disclose new local enemies. Hezbollah leader declared, the second reason behind our participation in the government is fearing for what has remained from Lebanon economically, nationally, and on all other levels. Warning that methods of coercion do not work in Lebanon, regardless of the advocates and sponsors, be them the US, France, or Europe. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.